Hello and welcome to Select 10. As the year comes to a close, let's review some of the top fantasy films that were released in 2023. While fantasy movies this year have been, at best, average, there have been a few truly fantastic movies that have captured the hearts of viewers everywhere. These are the top 10 fantasy movies of 2023, filled with newly created magical and fantastical worlds, speaking creatures, creative narratives, and boundless imagination. Now let's start the video. Number 10. Shazam! Fury of the Gods. It is a 2023 superhero fantasy film based on the DC character, Shazam. It is the follow-up to Shazam 2019, continuing the tale of young Billy Batson, who becomes a grown-up superhero, Shazam, by uttering the enchanted phrase. The story starts in the wake of the previous movie's conclusion, where Billy Batson and the other foster youngsters are still figuring out how to balance their teenage lifestyles with their newly discovered superhuman abilities and mature superhero identities. Their apparently tranquil lifestyles suddenly came to an abrupt halt when a group of ancient goddesses seeking vengeance came to Earth to recover the power that was taken from them centuries ago. From this point on, the plot intensifies as Billy and his friends must fight ancient gods for control of their extraordinary abilities, their personal lives, and the future of the entire planet. Although this movie was equally as funny as the previous one, it fell short of the mark. The plot is messy, disorienting, and overloaded, but the dragon combat sequence and overall action keep you entertained. While it might not have the same emotional impact as the previous film, this one nevertheless has plenty of wild humorous moments and upbeat performances, which make it a fun watch. Number 9. The Portable Door. It is a 2023 fantasy adventure comedy film directed by Jeffrey Walker. The main characters of the tale are Paul Carpenter and Sophie Patinjal, another intern who are hired by an enigmatic London corporation, where everything is not quite the way it looks. Their journey in their new job leads them to the door entrances to alternate realms and draws them into the hidden strategies of insane CEO Humphrey Wells, who wants to destroy the universe of magic for business benefit by introducing cutting-edge business tactics to old mystical procedures, while Paul and Sophie seek out the company's true motives. There is nothing unique or groundbreaking about the film, instead, its charm lies in its superb ensemble and sensibly illuminated, sophisticated sets. While the main plot is equally full of mysteries and absurd twists, the story itself occasionally seems a little caught up in its own excitement, where certain comedic parts work and some do not. However, this is a fun, skillfully made family fantasy that will be enjoyable to a family audience, while high and dark fantasy fans may not be impressed. Number 8. Chupa. It is a 2023 fantasy adventure film, directed by Jonas Guerin. The narrative centers on a little child who, while visiting Mexico, makes friends with an unusual mythical animal known as the Chupacabra and sets out on a journey to return it to its home. The story centers on the youngster and his cousins as they flee from the wicked researchers and try to reconnect Chupa with his family. The quest for reuniting the creature with its group is sweet, and the story has a lot of emotion with youngsters and the monster sharing a beautiful bond. Although the basic plot of the movie is overly straightforward and predictable, the screenplay is full of fantasy and adventure, which makes for an interesting viewing experience. Even with its shortcomings, Chupa is an adorable film that audiences will love, but it doesn't always provide thrilling experiences. A deeper exploration of Chupacabra folklore and a stronger sense of storytelling would have turned this decent story into an absolute blockbuster. But it's still worth seeing once for entertainment value. Number 7. Teen Wolf, The Movie. It is a 2023 supernatural fantasy action film, directed by Russell Mulcahy. The movie is set 15 years after the finale of the television show, where everyone who was part of Scott's pack has left Beacon Hills and pursued their respective journeys. The narrative starts out with Liam, who is employed by a dining establishment that also serves as a detention facility for the evil spirit, the Najitsu. However, all quickly changes when a shadowy individual releases the Najitsu and then demands retribution towards Scott and his companions. From this point on, the narrative is about Scott and his allies, who band together to stop him, while the Najitsu once again plots to ruin Scott's life by creating unimaginable dangers. Although the film's foundation isn't as strong as that of the series, its primary flaw is its attempt to take advantage of one of the show's prominent antagonists, which results in a messy plot that devalues one of the best storylines in the show. Overall, the movie is mainly just for lovers of the show because it has too much backstory and character history. However, if you're a newbie and just a fan of werewolf movies, you could like it. Number 6. Haunted Mansion. It is a 2023 fantasy horror comedy film, directed by Justin Simeon. 
The narrative centers on Gabby, a single mother, who learns her recently purchased mansion is haunted by spirits, and calls in the assistance of a local guide, an occult expert, a pastor, and an expert on history, to help rid it of the spirits. Inspired by the iconic theme park attraction, the movie follows a medical professional and her nine-year-old kid as they relocate into an unusually affordable home in New Orleans with the intention of starting fresh. However, they soon find out that the mansion is much more than they had anticipated. In an act of desperation to free their house of ghostly occupiers, they recruit a diverse group of self-proclaimed spiritual specialists, which leads to fun and emotional encounters with the ghosts. Although the plot is fairly standard, there are a few clever turns that give the movie a satisfyingly unsettling feel. You'll be entertained most of the time by the specialists' attempts at communicating with ghosts, as the sequences offer a good sense of humor and emotion. Overall, the film is a fun ride that provides an abundance of enjoyment owing to its daring narrative and the haunting feel of ghostly New Orleans. Number 5. Wonka. It is a 2023 musical fantasy film directed by Paul King. The movie is based on Wonka, an outstanding character in one of Roald Dahl's most famous books, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. The story follows Wonka and narrates how the most famous creator, entertainer, grew to be the well-known Willy Wonka that we recognize today. The plot opens with Willy Wonka arriving in Europe to open his chocolate business at Galleries Gourmet. But when he runs out of funds and faces challenges in starting a store in a city known for its chocolate, he finds that the business is controlled by a group of selfish chocolate makers, which makes his route more difficult. So, throughout the film, you'll see what he does to deal with the chocolate mafia with his new friends and whether or not he can open up shop. Despite having an excessive number of plots and characters, Chalamet's outstanding performance and the film's enthusiasm compensate for its flaws. Though there are a few minor hiccups and an uneven musical portion, all in all, the plot is a cheerful, genuine crowd-pleaser, and the cast infuses energy into the story to keep the audience entertained throughout. Number 4. Poor Things. It is a 2023 science fantasy dark comedy film directed by Yorgos Lanthimos. The story is about Bella Baxter, a young woman who is revived by the scientific genius, Dr. Godwin Baxter. Bella is keen to learn while under Baxter's supervision, but her hunger for the modernity she lacks drives her to flee across countries on a fast-paced journey with the dapper attorney, Duncan Wedderburn. Following this, she is freed from the preconceptions of her day and becomes more determined than ever to speak out for fairness and freedom as she sets off on a journey of personal growth. Though it falls somewhere in between the dark fantasy and science fiction genres, its uniqueness deserve attention. Emma Stone plays the chaotic, inquisitive, and sometimes dangerous Bella in a way that is simply great, while Mark Ruffalo brilliantly matches her performance. The story explores the strangeness of human connections, and it's brilliant in its own right. Overall, Poor Things is not for everyone, but it is one of the year's most compelling and innovative fantasy flicks. Number 3. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. It is a 2023 superhero fantasy action film, directed by James Wan. The main plot revolves around the malicious intentions of Black Manta, who is now equipped to unleash a powerful and ancient energy by wielding the legendary Black Trident. At present with the intention of putting a stop to his dread, Aquaman teams up with his brother Orm, the previous king of Atlantis, in an odd alliance. Putting aside their disagreements, they work together to defend their realm and prevent the world's catastrophic collapse. The narrative advances as the two brothers hunt for the fabled seventh realm of the oceans and attempt to stop Black Manta from destroying their loved ones and using the enchanted Black Trident to bring down the planet. The film's uneven pacing and poorly executed action scenes fall short of the previous movie's quality, and the narrative is inconsistent, veering between lighthearted moments, family drama, and sinister plot turns without striking a satisfying chord. For fans of Jason Momoa's Aquaman, and for those who are looking for a decent fantasy adventure film without high expectations, the movie can be entertaining enough altogether. Number 2. Suzumi. It is a fantasy adventure film, directed by Makoto Shinkai. The movie centers on Suzumi, a 17-year-old resident of a small Kyushu village, who meets a young guy who is on the move and searching for magical doors. Suzumi, in the meantime, follows him to an abandoned structure where she finds a door connecting to a surreal world. She turns around and runs straight to her school, unaware that her mistake of keeping the entrance unlocked will have extreme consequences. Not too long after, the evil from another universe breaks out and terrorizes all of Japan, while Suzumi joins Sauda in her risky mistake-correcting effort, searching for and shutting all open portals before the nation is destroyed. 
The plot is an incredible delight for anyone who likes outstanding animation fantasy, as the film is appealing, hilarious, emotional, and innovative. With its captivating topic and stunning visuals that never stop captivating the audience, it's a thought-provoking journey that feels really unique. It is a must-see animated film of 2023. Number 1. Dungeons & Dragons – Honor Among Thieves. It is a 2023 fantasy heist action adventure film, directed by Jonathan Goldstein and John Francis Daly. The narrative centers on the thief, Edgen, and his criminal associate, Holga the Barbarian, who escaped from jail. Meanwhile Legend seeks to see his young daughter Kira, but discovers that she is in possession of Forge Fitzwilliam, his former partner, and his terrifying associate, Safina. What happens next is that Edgen decides to put together a motley crew of outcasts and sets out to retrieve his daughter by breaking into Forge's magical vault, which eventually put them against unanticipated foes, where they must overcome treachery and unanticipated obstacles. The film features amazing visual effects and a brilliantly funny element that all work together to create an epic adventure full of monsters, unusual creatures, dragons, and other beasts. Overall, I had a lot more fun with the movie than I had expected. It's not flawless, but the stellar cause T and endearing writing make it one of the best and most underrated films of 2023. It succeeds in establishing an immense fantasy world that is worth watching and is witty, adventurous, and engaging. That's it for today, thank you for watching this video. And do subscribe our channel to see more videos related to movies and series suggestions.